The opening scene shows a stormy night where a panicked woman is out in the rain, frantically running towards a store nearby. At the gas station, she begs the clerk to let her in by knocking on the door, but the clerk refuses, stating the store is already closed. The woman then sprints towards a nearby telephone booth and calls the cops, reporting that someone abducted her kids and they are pursuing her. While the cops are inquiring her whereabouts, suddenly the line goes down and a bright light flashes at her. Shortly after, the clerk comes out only to find the entire telephone booth is missing. While he is getting back to inform about this, the telephone booth suddenly falls to the ground, but without the woman. The next morning, cops get to the scene, and upon inspection, Sheriff Murphy finds a wallet, which belongs to the woman. In the next scene, April and her boyfriend Kyle leave to spend the weekend at her parents' cabin. However, Kyle has invited his friends Seth, Melanie, and Seth's girlfriend Lex. Along the way, Seth sets off fireworks in the car, and they are pulled over by Sheriff Murphy, who gives them a warning. Upon arriving at the cabin, April's friends remember how they used to spend their summers there when they were kids. They begin to enjoy their weekend by drinking and smoking marijuana, and soon they all get high. Shortly after, April and Melanie go out for a walk with the dog, Rusty. Melanie asks April how her plans for transferring to NYU are going, and also if she told Kyle about this. April replies that she is planning on breaking up with Kyle. Melanie suggests to her that Kyle is a good guy, unlike many others, and also they will be great together. But April thinks she doesn't want to be one of those girls that marries their high school sweetheart. As they are talking, Rusty begins to bark at something and immediately makes a run towards it. They both follow the dog and end up near a private property. Despite April's warnings, Melanie sneaks in to get her dog, and April also follows her. As they are looking for the dog, they find a weed farm. April warns they should get out of here because it looks like a drug dealer's den, and she doesn't want to get caught up in any trouble. As they are about to leave, a man holding an axe shows up, threatening the two for trespassing into his property. April says they are just here for their dog, and they own a cabin nearby. The old man named Travis notices April as he was a friend of her father. April also remembers him, and Travis invites the two into his house. April looks at a photo of Travis from his time in the army. He had served at the time of the Vietnam War, and he had seen a lot of weird things out there. He shows them a picture that his thermal motion camera has captured, stating that this is a place used by the military for testing their advanced tech, and also warns them to keep safe. Back at the cabin, when they are all chatting, Kyle goes over to April, asking her to have a private talk. The two go upstairs into a room. Kyle tells her how much he cherishes the past three years he has spent with April, and now he wants to take it a step further. He proposes for her to marry him, but April says she is not sure about this. Confused with the answer, Kyle asks for the reason. April expresses her decision to take a break from him for some time. Taken by surprise, Kyle storms out of the room in anger. Meanwhile, at the police station, Sheriff Murphy is going through footage from the gas station when he notices a light had descended from the sky, causing the woman's disappearance. Later that night at the cabin, Kyle gets really drunk, unable to take on the rejection. He gets into an argument with April while Seth is filming all this. April defends herself, saying she doesn't believe in marriage after her parents ended up separated. Kyle tries to convince her that not everybody will end up the same. As they are arguing, they notice something in the sky on fire, and it crashes into the nearby forest. They all get into the car and go over to the crash site to take a look. They stop the car nearby and begin to walk. Soon, they all get surprised to see that the thing that has crashed is not an airplane, but a UFO. They are all scared upon seeing this, while Lex pulls back and discovers some footprints which are heading into the forest. Soon, everyone gets back to the cabin and locks themselves in while it is raining. They look at the video that Seth recorded, and Melanie thinks they should inform the cops as they have proof, but the others think it'll be no use as the cops won't believe it. April seems to be terrified as she realizes the footprints were headed towards their direction. While they are arguing, the light suddenly goes out, and everyone begins to panic. They all get down to the basement to turn the breakers on. As they are checking the box, suddenly they hear Rusty barking from outside followed by some sounds. Then April remembers about the gun that her father told her about. She opens the box and loads the gun. Kyle and April head out of the basement holding the gun, and they see the door is opened. Kyle quickly shuts it down and locks the door. 
He then takes a peek through the door hole and finds nothing outside. The two begin to walk inside and search the area. Suddenly, Kyle notices an alien outside, walking towards them. April immediately turns around to take a shot. Afterward, they all go outside to look for the alien. When they get near the pool, they find the alien's dead body floating. Terrified, the group immediately drives off from the area, but soon they stop as the road is blocked by a huge tree that fell down. April takes a closer look, and it seems that someone has blocked the road deliberately as the trunk is perfectly cut. She informs Kyle of this. Seth then notices it isn't raining anymore, but it is only up to a certain radius. They all turn their heads up and find a UFO hovering above them. They hurriedly get back into the car, but Lex steps out when the car doesn't move anymore. While the others are shouting at her to get back in, a light descends upon her from the UFO, and she is taken away. Meanwhile, Sheriff Murphy goes to the camping van, which belongs to Nancy. While looking around, he finds a video camera where he discovers the woman's son is being taken away by the aliens. Soon he finds Nancy inside the van, and she seems to be terrified. Sheriff Murphy reports about this, asking for backup. Meanwhile, April and the others walk through the woods and soon get to Travis's place. They meet with him and disclose that their friend was taken away by the aliens. They ask for Travis's help by showing the video that Seth recorded. Travis then reveals that the US government has had a treaty with the aliens ever since the Roswell incident. The aliens abduct people while the government is left to clean up the mess. There is only one rule, no human must engage them. Since April has shot one of them, it is considered a breach of the treaty, and now the aliens are hunting for them. Soon something appears on the radar heading towards their direction. Travis picks up a gun to defend his territory. He goes out looking for the alien. When he gets under a desk to take cover, the alien begins to attack him. He shoots at the alien and blood falls on his face. He thinks it is dead, but as he is heading out, the alien gets him. Back in the house, the others are blocking all the exits to keep themselves safe. When they suddenly hear a noise coming from outside, April takes a look through the door hole and she finds an alien waiting there. Seth goes to pick up the gun and realizes someone is coming. Seemingly, the alien tries to break in, and when the door opens, Seth mistaken Sheriff Murphy and Deputy Mitchell for aliens, and they arrest him. April tries to explain to Sheriff Murphy that a UFO has crashed near their cabin and also abducted one of their friends. They also reveal about the dead alien at their cabin. Sheriff Murphy takes April and Kyle along with him to their cabin, but to their surprise, they couldn't find the alien anywhere. Suddenly, they hear a sound coming from the garage and Sheriff Murphy goes to check, instructing them to get into the house as he is looking around. The alien passes from behind and goes into the trees. Sheriff Murphy gets into his car, where Seth is being held in the back. Deputy Mitchell believes that Sheriff Murphy is backing up for the kids, as he believes his wife was abducted by aliens. He tries to convince Sheriff Murphy that his wife left him for someone else, but Sheriff Murphy strongly believes that she was abducted by the aliens, as she would never leave because they love each other. He argues that what is happening to the kids is real. When he starts the car, they see the alien is standing in front of them, leaving the cops stunned. The alien then uses its powers to telepathically control Sheriff Murphy, forcing him to shoot Deputy Mitchell and then himself. Seth is saved by April, and they all get back into the house. Seth begins panicking and wants to get back into the town. He snatches the gun away from April and threatens them to get into the town, leaving April behind since she is the one that shot the alien, so they will only want her. When the others refuse, Seth goes out alone. Shortly after, the UFO shows up above the cabin and an alien breaks into the house. Kyle sends April and Melanie into the basement and blocks the door for their protection. Before hiding in the bathroom with a knife planning to ambush the aliens, his plan fails when an alien jumps out and abducts him. Meanwhile, Seth is running through the forest hurriedly and trying to get back into the town. But he suddenly notices the alien following him and begins to shoot at it. When he runs out of bullets, the alien shows up and attacks him. As he is crawling on the floor, the UFO appears and begins to pull him up. Seth cuffs himself to a tree to avoid being pulled into the UFO, but he is taken by the aliens leaving his hand behind. April and Melanie sit in the basement and reminisce about April's parents taking them fishing. Melanie decides to end her own life rather than be abducted, taking an overdose of sleeping pills and leaving April to face the aliens alone. April plans to fight them off with a crowbar, but the aliens leave voluntarily. When April realizes they have taken Kyle upon discovering the ring, she attracts their attention by setting off fireworks, causing the aliens to return and abduct her too. She awakens on the alien spaceship 
and starts to explore the dark hallways, finding corpses of humans and an alien-human hybrid. In another part of the ship, Seth wakes up stripped naked and strapped to an upright operating table, where he is branded and subjected to bizarre and ultimately fatal medical experiments. April finally finds Kyle, and they embrace as the aliens discover them. The aliens use their telepathic powers on the two, making them unconscious. Kyle and April awaken in a field, having been returned to Earth. The two rejoice and share a kiss. As they walk back home through the forest, they come across US Army soldiers at the UFO crash site. They run toward the soldiers, hoping they can get help, but instead, they both get shot and collapse on the ground. As they lie wounded, April gives Kyle the engagement ring, which he puts on her finger. The soldiers shoot them dead, before dumping the bodies in a pit and incinerating them, confirming there are no other surviving witnesses. The military's cleanup operation continues, confirming Travis's theory that the US government is indeed hiding the existence of extraterrestrials. The final scene reveals an alien held captive by the military. And with that, the movie ends. I hope you enjoyed our video. Watch the next recaps on the screen and don't forget to subscribe for amazing videos. See you in the next one.